On behalf of Lady Glen Torren and myself, welcome to the Paul Yates Studio Gallery at Dromadera County Antrim. Let's go on a tour of the gallery. Multimedia artist Paul Yates has sustained a highly original and compelling output across poetry, painting and film for some four decades. Lady Glentorn and I first purchased some of his paintings for our private collection in 2005. Subsequently, we met with him in Spain and again here at our home. When we discovered that Paul Yates was looking for somewhere to develop and exhibit larger scale works, we were happy to make the barn complex at Dromadera available to him. The paintings cover a diverse subject range, but are chiefly spread across five main series. The Andalusian effect, images inspired by Yeats's sojourns to southern Spain, where the light and the landscape complemented his intuitive surrealism. Shapeshifters, images inspired by scarecrow figures encountered on the Ards Peninsula in Northern Ireland. Strange persona composed of disused feed bags and the fine black polythene used to wrap hay bales that once animated by the wind seemed to take on lives of their own. Clin, an Inuit word meaning remember snow defining a series of paintings of snow heads and snow figures. Tabula rasa, blackboard paintings inspired by Paul Yeats's expulsion from high school for writing a poem during a mathematics examination and being forced to write 100 times on a blackboard. I must not write poetry in class. Original cast, an ongoing series of portraits of characters, real and imagined, often based upon primary school memories. In addition to these key series, Paul Yates continues to surprise with paintings like Man Walking Through Wall, a prime example of the scale of work produced here. Visits to the studio gallery to view the paintings or discuss a commission are welcome, but must be arranged in advance by contacting us at info at paulyatesstudio.com. If you would like to be included on our mailing list, please contact us at the same address. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the brief tour of the gallery. And now I'm going to close by reading a poem written by Paul and dedicated to Lady Glentoran and myself, The Hayloft Door. Raft wood, but rugged as crosses. A crisscross decking of rickety splints, pleated on bitten off nails. No two pieces the same length, hanged man askew. Stubborn, stuttering, creaking wings of solitude, opening in to open out. Their tilted gates secured in time and space by play block latches. The furnace bright of the light around their edges, acetylene sealing a ship's hold quiet. A sanctuary yielding only to the comings and goings of swifts, and a poet seeking a safe house in which to take flying lessons. <laughs>